this is not or is a Captain America figure of some sort. Roll it. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today I will be unboxing the Noda Not A Studio Steve. This is supposedly an action figure that is compatible with Marvel Legends uh, Captain America, and we're going to see that in this video. I bought this figure. It's kind of pricey. We're looking at a $60 figure that I bought off eBay. This was something that I really wanted to do, um, but unfortunately we got hacked <laughs> uh, two months ago. So it's just been sitting here waiting for me to be unboxed. So this is kind of an expensive set, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, if we look here, the head is $20, I believe, if you want a custom head. And uh, yeah, so this whole set almost costs like 80, 90 bucks. And this is supposedly a China clone, so yeah not good not good <laughs> it's kind of pricey but we'll see we'll open them up and we'll see if it's worth the money so enough of me talking let's get this guy open unfortunately this guy will not be available at www.dstartoys.com he's not available there but you can go there for other awesome action figures uh, okay so let's open this guy up and let's see what's going on so we have a really nice looking uh um, unboxing here he's stuffed in this like foam this is what I really like we get an assortment of hands and feet and of course we get the faded uh, uh, what do you call it shield hold on let's move on to the top can my bad let's look here so you get like this really worn out shield as you can see right here hello thick boy welcome back and I think that's going to be a thing. <laughs> you're just always going to be shouted out in all these videos now because you're here at twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. So yeah, anyway, we were looking at the shield here. This is a faded Captain America shield that you see in the movie Winter Soldier of the MCU. And again, we have the assorted hands and we have bare feet, which is something that we don't really see in any action figure series. Uh, we don't get bare feet. Not that we need to get bare feet. But yeah, so you get all these other hands, and we're going to look at those and accessories. So let's move back to the main camera right here. Uh, so let's look at this body. It looks like we have like a really nice matte finish and a wonderful skin tone, which definitely looks like Captain America right here. Uh, if you guys don't remember, he wears this outfit uh, when he's like on the run from she uh, not shield. Yeah, he is on the run from shield. I think it's missing something. Just as I thought, we got this awesome jacket right here. So let us unzip this. Actually, it doesn't even have a zipper. So we're going to cover up those wonderful arms, unfortunately. That's okay. Go like this. And we're going to... Okay, this is not working. You know what? I do want my money back. <laughs> no, no, we got to remove the hands. I keep forgetting we always got to remove the hands. And let's do that right now. So we're going to see how he looks, even though we should be doing this in accessories. I think this should, will complete his look overall. So there we have it. And we get these pegs to stick out. Like so. And let's get this other hand on him. And there you have it. So there he is without his head. <laughs> he looks like he's ready to be incognito. So enough of this. Let's get out this custom head. I don't even know who makes this. Well, let's see here. It says ML Nota Steve. That's really all it says on here. And you can get this on eBay for about 20 bucks. So from what I understand, I should be able to just remove this part. And I should be able to just put this like so uh, hold on one second let's see here and if we plug that in uh oh yep we are having issues here it looks to be that this is not gonna work oh no oh no this is not good this does not look like it is going to work because of the fact that this socket right here is just a little bit too big and it cannot fit in. 
Oh, this is really, really terrible. Really terrible. So what I got to do now is, oh man, I'm, I'm not happy with this. Not at all. Not even a little bit happy. This is bad. It's like they say it's made for okay, it. And we're back. So what we're going to do here is uh, we got some micro pliers right here. And we're going to see if we can remove this. So this is the issue here. <sighs> wow, that was much easier than I thought. So what we did here, we just got some micro pliers and we decided to remove this and we replaced it with this or replace it with this one. And this one should fit. We should fit. We should fit. Yes, we're good to go. Yes, so we don't have an issue anymore. Thank goodness this is solved. I was getting a little bit scared there. It looks like I wasted money, but I did not. And as you can see here, let's look at this beautiful, handsome face. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That definitely looks like Chris right there or Steve. And we have that wonderful hair that goes back. You know what's missing? He's missing the baseball cap. But that's okay. We look really good right here. Looks like we're ready to run away from S.H.I.E.L.D. So when it comes to paint and detail, I'd have to say, yeah, he looks really good. The cl real clothing gives it that um, Mesco-like look. And that's what makes it worth it, I think. When you put real clothes on here, you get a much more realistic looking action figure. And that is something I definitely love. That was a close one, guys. I'm so glad that this is included with the head. So one more thing. It does come with a Captain America helmet. But I've tried to put this on. As you can see, it is just not going to fit. It looks like you're going to have to heat this up, which is something we will not do. But since we're moving on to articulation and scale, look at, look at this. We have a Captain America from Marvel Legends. We'll just remove that head. And let's see if this will work. Looks like we have to remove this. <clears throat> and <laughs> that just looks so silly on him. Look at that. That looks really bad. <laughs> no, no, no. That that's not gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna keep this head on him forever. We're not gonna put the Captain America head. That just looks absolutely silly. <laughs> so since we're talking about articulation and scale, let's look here. This guy is standing at about six and a quarter inches, and we gotta compare him with other action figures from different lines. And look here, we have the Marvel Legends, Captain America. And of course, we have more Marvel Legends here. We have Scott Summers, AKA Cyclops, with his jacket on. As you can see, he looks to scale really well with Marvel Legends, thank goodness. So you can move this back. And we have an SH Figure Arts Spider-Man, PS4 Spider-Man, does not work. Scale is too big. And just to be sure, we have an SH Figure Arts Tony Stark. No, look at this. This is not to scale at all. <laughs> and last but not least, we have a Marvel Legends, I believe this is the 80th anniversary, Iron Man. So you, as you can see, they definitely tried their best to scale it with Marvel Legends rather than import figures from SH Figure Arts. Let's talk about articulation. So we have an up and down here at the, at the ankle. We have a double jointed knee. As you can see, it's right through the pants right there. It is indeed double jointed. We have, it looks to have a ball joint there at the upper leg. Some swivel there. Of course, he can do ab crunches, as I said before, because we have two articulation points in the midsection. We have a shoulder joint right there. And that looks to work really well. Bicep swivel, double joint elbow, and wrist joint, and that ball joint, as I was talking before, looking to be just about 20 points of articulation from the top of my head, and he is well articulated. Here we go. In chat, go ahead and tell me what pose to do. We have front kick, side kick, we have a roll, sure, why not? And let's have him do some break dancing moves. Of course, you cannot um, guess that that's Captain America if he's breaking in the mall. So there you have it. He has just busted a move for you guys. And now we're gonna move on to accessories. And because we're live streaming, we could totally do all these accessories. Why not? Let's see if we can get all these hands out. Let's move over to the top cam. And let's look at all of these hands and stuff. You gotta see what's going on here. And he has feet. Did he ever run barefoot? I don't remember in this movie, did he? Why? 
Why would he run barefoot? I don't know. So you get the assortment of hands. Like I said, you do get the shield. So let's look at all these assortment of hands. It looks like we get a pointing finger. My finger points. And indeed, he's like, hey, you, you should buy toys at www.dstartoys.com. You're allowed to finish for awesome action figures. That's what Steve is telling you right now. We do get an awesome pointing finger. That's really cool. And let's see if we can get this shield on him by removing the hand. <gasps> Look! Betty, is that her name? I forgot. Yeah. Oh, we get a picture in the shield! That's so cool! Wow! That is something I did not expect. Very, very cool. Alright, so let's put this hand right here. Very difficult to get in because of the fact that it's a really tight fit. So let's move this around a little bit. Peggy, Peggy, not Betty. Gosh, Peggy. That's her name. It's been a while. So there you have it. There we have that shield. Uh, let's get another hand on there. Something like this. There. That looks really sharp. Whoa. I absolutely love how this looks. This looks really cool. Looks like he has a little bit of shadow under the eyes there. Let's see if we can get some light. And there you have it so we can see the face much clearer right there. That looks really, really solid. Um, you know what? All the hands seem to be just... I don't know why you would have a beer can holding hand when he doesn't really come with anything of the sort. Of course, we have the chop hand. Uh, you know what? We, might, no, we don't get another chop hand. Oh man, that really sucks. So you could, uh, this is the wrong hand for this one. It should go in on his right hand. Uh, but we're gonna do that. Cause America, that's right. That's right. You're right, Nintendo. Because America, that's right. We only salute with the right hand. There you go. America. That's right. Oh yeah, that's right. Good point, Janelle. Good point. Let's get this, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, that's, that's it right there. America, right there, with the, with the, with Mjolnir. Ha, oh, that looks sick. I have to say, I am really, really liking this action figure, even though it's kind of pricey, and, you know, China has increased their, um, what do you call it, their quality control, and it looks like there's nothing really wrong with this action figure. So Nota Studios, I think, is one of those high-quality uh, China companies that make really good action figures. So far, I have not had any issues with Nota Studios. So let's come up with a conclusion of this action figure. Of course, we're going to put all of this, these accessories and stuff. We're going to showcase them at the end of the video. I have to say, I agree with you, Thick Boy. A23, yes, this is a very, very cool figure. I really wish he was cheaper, though. Uh, this is definitely a recommendation if he was like 50 to $60, but oh no, he's about 80 if you want to get it with the custom head. Uh, that's really expensive, so I'm definitely putting this on my shelf. He's worth it to me. If you could afford it, I'd say, yeah, get it, If you, especially if you love Captain America Winter Soldier, which is one of my favorite MCU movies. Janelle and I watched this when we, when we first started dating, so yeah, it was it was amazing. It was such a great, great movie, and this is a figure I've always wanted. Now we just need the casual Black Widow Scarlett Johansson figure to go with it, and that would complete this set. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by the stream at www.twitch.tv forward slash dstar01. And if you're looking for awesome action figures, you know where to go. You can always go to www.dstartoys.com, a reliable source for awesome action figures. Guys, thanks for dropping by again.
Hey you! Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here.